can't really see in there. Wow. My grandma had one in Puerto Rico, one of these. It's a uh, washing machine. Yeah. Wow, yeah. You put the, um, put your clothes through here and then it'll squeeze out. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, they're stove. There's the stove, and then look at the stirrers. These are the stirrers. A tiny fridge. Cabbage Patch Kids. The Growing Cabbage Patch Kids. house this one's a little fancy this one's a little fancy though it has a little curtain this one's a little fancy See the turkeys? Broad breasted bronze turkeys. He's watching them. 
This is Jenny. She's three years old. Hey, Jenny. There's Jenny. This farm dates back to 1715. It's 15 acres. This country in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The dairy goats. Protecting her, her kids. Okay. So guys, if you ever have a chance to come down here to Pennsylvania, um, I would I would really recommend this place. It's really cool. They have different tours. You can take a bus tour. Uh, they have a guided tour. And they also have, you know, a walk on your own. That's what we're doing. Um, mainly because we have our, our little Henry with us. Say hi, Henry. Henry. Say hi. Little sheep. What is happening? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Emperor's new groove. Oh,
medium back there. I'm still a city girl at heart, but I like to get away, you know, check out what else is going on in the world, in PA. I know that Philly's not the only place. So I enjoy coming out and seeing what else there is to, to explore. How cute is this? It's like their own tree house. Wow, so this is the Amish one room schoolhouse. They have like smaller children up front, the bigger ones in back, the different size desks. This is neat. <laughs> is it used or is it just for? This like for the show, but this gives you a little nine year old. Yeah. Like. How cool. This is so nice. How many kids at a time? Hmm. How many kids? There's usually like 20 to 30 in one school. 20 to 30. Yeah. yeah. They just get more and more, they'll build another school in another area. I don't know, probably like three to four hundred one room schools scattered all over the county. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a coal stove. And a lot of them are still using coal. They also use the propane gas. Okay. That there is one of the more convenient. I don't have the parents. Usually one of them has to go to the school and they'll like a coal stove to rebank during the weekend so that it stays warm until Monday morning. Gotcha. Corn maize. Ready? 95% of all corn farms in America are family owned. Left. Oh, it goes in a circle. Or right. Oh, man. You done did it now. We've been in here a good 10 minutes and we still don't know. It's not for kids to be by themselves, I'll tell you that much. Because I'm about to start crying. <laughs> Dead end? Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I think I see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we made it. Woo! That was intense. For me, for this city girl. That was pretty intense. <laughs> this was a straight up real corn maze. It wasn't made for chillings. Not by themselves anyway, but I say it took us about 10 to 12 minutes to go through it and find our way back out.
Cold Phillies. How long does it take for one? Well, you have to count the time to find the wood and all that. So I don't know the project time. The carb doesn't take me that long because I've done a lot. Okay, I'm going to do the tail on this one now. Okay. If you want to do a video of this, you'll see the whole process. Yeah. A little bit of practice. It's the part that gives most people grief, but... <laughs> And I'll show you what I do with the leftover piece. And I'll show you how tight I'm holding the knife. Look at my thumb. Ooh. Okay. Now then I'll take this. I'll thin that a little bit. I never doubted women's ability to do this. I doubted their interest. Because you ladies have about 14,684 crafts. And we guys have about five. <laughs> But some of the best pointlers in the world who have picked this up and they hadn't done any of this before have been women. One was a nurse in her uh, late 60s, one was a woman about 45, and another was a high school girl. Okay, now that's going to be a flower. Oh. And this is all in the videos too. The rooster was across, across. Now the flower is going to be down, down. And if the knife isn't sharp, don't even pick up the wood. Because if the knife is really sharp, <laughs> it'll work. But if it's not sharp, it's, it's, it won't work at all. Oh, look at that. birthday for your next birthday. Ah, oh, thank you. My birthday just passed too. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Feel how stiff the petals are. You would think they'd be really delicate. No, they're not. Even the rooster tail is stiff. I'm trying oh, to make cool. that. So I highly recommend you guys come in here. It's pretty cool. Everything is on the farm. 15 acres. Doesn't feel that big. The thing I can say that I don't like is that it's so close to like a target and i thought it was going to be more like in the farmlands but still you still get the the whole ambiance of being on a farm especially an amish farm where you know it's a lot of history there guys horses goats um chickens tobacco farm like who knew right so i hope you guys like this video